The two most important things I look for in lesson planning is to make sure that I've got different waves that's to try and catch a student's attention. And the second thing I look forward to is making sure that all the students are catered for. You have to be clear about your outcomes. I think you should work backwards. I think you should think about the simple steps that students need to take in order to achieve your aims. Most importantly, don't overplan. So today we're going to be looking at review writing and one of the main things I'm going to do with the starter is just encourage them to use a new word and from that new word they're going to be referencing it throughout the lesson. And that word is enthralling. So we start off with a new word. Now the word here is enthralling. So your sentence is, I found the movie enthralling. I cannot wait to see the sequel. Just write down your guesses. Write down your guesses. The pupil who receives an air blast to the face is expected to answer the question. Um, exciting. Exciting. Investigating. Investigating. So it's investigating something. Well, enthralling, I like your guesses, but enthralling kind of like grabs your attention. Kanan, can I have your sentence please, Kanan? I was watching a movie called The Dark Knight. It was really enthralling. To be honest, it was a fantastic film. Excellent. I really like that. While Westminster City students are enthralled by film reviewing, in Sussex, Warden Park pupils are reviewing the newspaper coverage of England's World Cup performance. Um, right, so what we're going to be doing today is carrying on with our study of um, the language of sports commentary. My aim really is to uh, start with a short, sharp, focused activity where they watch a three minute summary. What a start! And that's you right into Gerard's back. Great finish, very cool. And then they look out for um, the typical language features of commentating. Uh, he just takes his eye off the ball. And I'm hoping that from that they'll be able to identify some, some very broad techniques that all commentators use. Can anybody remember what a cliche is? Yes. Um, phrases that are overused. Excellent, well done. Can you think of any that might be associated with football? Hit the woodwork. Excellent, well done. That will link quite clearly into the main activity, which is looking at how um, sports journalist retrospectively analyses the performance of a, a particular team or player. Gerard insists we'll go through. They quote, they got off to a stuttering start, showing that they carried on making the mistakes all the way through the game. To whet their appetites for reviewing, Leon Haddy reads out a Guardian film critique of The Hulk, written by Peter Bradshaw. Smash. Big Hulk smash. Smash cars, buildings, army tanks. Hulk not smash. Hulk also go rah. What I want you to do now is to continue that review in that sarcastic style. Show me thumbs of understanding if you understand what to do. OK? If you haven't got full thumbs of understanding, come to me. So the dot, 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 and so you might want to put after it, put a great crit, green fist right through it. Hulk. Sabine, I want to hear yours, please. Smash, smash, smash. Smash everything. Never ending. Excellent. Well done. A very good example. And also, because we're looking at film, we're going to get the boys to do a slight dramatic play. It was really good. What's up with you today? I've got game with cool, man. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the boys are going to be able to analyse their performance as well. Can you guys stop making those on the bus, please? Oh, and hopefully, yeah. use some of those words. The plenary will be hopefully finding out about what they've learnt, where they feed back to each other. In this newspaper, for example, David Collins was in Rustenburg, where it was actually near Clade. One was in New York and one was at, in England, giving many different reactions of the crowds and people. The titles got alliteration in it, the burst of brilliance, and so it makes the reader think it's like, it's more better to read because there's more better language in it. It's, yeah. For his plenary, Leon shows his class a short animation about love, lawn octopi and asks them to write a review. One of the octopuses saw that his fellow octopus was separated, so he tried his best to get, to get it back. Once he did get it back, it was a shame that, a shame that a seagull came and ate him. This short movie really raised my spirits. It reminded me of summer and the beach, no matter what went place in this, in this clip. The main purpose of this video is to remind us how strong love is. I think it's very, very important to 
be clear about your plan, be focused about your plan and don't spend too long over planning. It's really important to just isolate what it is you want the kids to do first and then link that to the AF or the area of assessment that you're looking for and then see how you can pick activities for them to do that will all support that.